the 2022 Indonesian Open final. As we look at the women's singles, well, we watched that match a little bit earlier on. Hei Zhao, the first of the ladies from this section of the draw, that's section two, and it's got through the quarterfinals. And Tai Tzu Ying, Wang Zhiyi will face either Gregoria Mariska Tunjung or Aya Ahori. Should they make it through? So here they come, Tai Tzu Ying in her final year of playing and that's been confirmed by her now. A lot of people were speculating as to whether it would be or not, but she has made all the right um, indicators that this will be her last season and she's going out in style. 214 weeks at world number one Tai Tzu Ying. Such a great shot maker up against Wang Zhiyi. As I said, this the repeat of the 22 Indonesia Open final. And there you go, that's it. Tai Tzu Ying winning in three games. That was the only time that they've met, surprisingly. And that means that head to head is 1-0. Is that tight? Okay, so change it now. Wang Zhiyi, world number nine. Tai Tzu Ying, wall number three. Wang Zhiyi's last French Open was a second round exit. But she's started the year quite well. She won the Indonesia Masters, was third at the India Open. And also made 11 quarterfinals or more in 2023. And was also runner up at the Arctic Open. As for Tai Tzu Ying, well, four finals and two titles. One of them was the World Tour Finals, of course, at the end of the year, last year. And there you go, currently ranked three, born in Carl Xiang. 29 years old. Some might say it's a little bit early for her to be retiring, but of course it's completely up to her. And what a run she's had, of course. I said 214 weeks. That's the women's singles player who's held that title the longest at world number one. Sung Shoyun in 31 minutes was her first result to get her into round two. And she's been in fine form. So runner up at the Malaysia Open, won the India Open. There's Wang Ji, 23 years old. Slightly taller, a bit of a height advantage, but really it's all about countering some of these incredible shots that Tai Tzu Ying makes. But this should be an absolute cracker of a match. And that's her tournament results. Go Jin Wei in 28 minutes, 21-10, 21-14. So both players flawless to this point. And Chris, when it comes down to it, this is going to be a technically great match. Yeah, I mean, you've got number nine in the world against number three in the world. And both players I would describe as in form because Tai Su Ying obviously won her the last tournament she played so she's now six games unbeaten and her opponent uh, Wang is now eight games unbeaten because she won the last yeah. tournament she played and also then she actually participated in the team event um, so yeah it's going to be an exciting match both ladies in very very good form well Mikhaila Van Benkova in the umpire's chat but Van Horenbeek is the service judge and we're about ready to get underway here
China. And on my left, Dai Chuying, Chinese Taipei. Wang Ping, the serve, La Ball, Blake. So Wang Ji gets us underway. Already, it's a nice push into the back court from Tai Tzu Ying. Yeah, and Tai Tzu Ying there just showing the control and deception that she has pretty much all parts of the court. Yeah. Just gone long. Service over, one all. Quite on point for Wang Ji. Service over to Good idea one. though. Over to all. She has this knack, Tai Tzu Ying, of being able to play these almost impossible shots. I've actually seen her a couple of times. There's no look shots from the back line. They're just perfect drops. Absolute highlight real player. When it comes to shot making. And steps back nicely into that, fires it into the corner. Service over, 3-2. Gone long. Service over three all. Four three. A few interesting things about Tosu Ying. She obviously brought the um, she did that interview just regarding uh, video analysis. You know, I'd say pretty much every player out there will analyze their opponent in possibly sometimes too much depth, but in depth yeah. to have an idea, because you want to have an idea what your opponent's going to do so that you can try and preempt it and predict yeah. what they're going to do, because everybody has patterns. Five, three. Is, this where, is this where she said she doesn't watch any videos? And that's the thing, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's an interesting one, because she's the only player that I has yeah. come out and said it, where, you know, she... She's kind of not really interested in, in what her opponent does. And on one hand, I totally understand because you can get so fixated with what your opponent does, you lose focus on yourself. Yeah. And you almost yeah. try and play your game so much to uh, frustrate them. But, you, you know, you lose emphasis on what you're good at. Yeah. And, but then on the flip side, I would say you do need to have an understanding of what your opponent's going to do. Now, she's so experienced. She's played pretty much everyone that deep down she does have a good idea because she's played most of the top players yeah. so many times that... You know, naturally, she has a really good understanding. And of what that's gonna better do. than video because, of course, it's it's real life experience, yeah. right? It's just interesting that she obviously came out and and they admitted and it. Yeah. Like, yeah, you know, it's just quite different to a lot of other players, and also her journey Six, with her coach. Three. I think um, coach who's been with her a very, very long time now, Liao Qian Cheng, and they started off. He was her kind of training partner, sparring partner, right? And then that kind of developed into a relationship with him he became her coach and at the time when she was first looking for a sparring partner she just wanted someone that she could have as a male sparring partner and right. that wouldn't Seven, affect their three. training too much because she wanted someone who was actively playing but it was quite to find the right person and he was doing his military service at the at the time at, and it so happened he was actually doing 
slightly more community service, but in her school. And that's kind of how they met. And uh, at the time, she obviously excelled from a very young wow. age. And that is an opportune meeting. Exactly. And, you know, it's progressed into her becoming one of the greatest ladies yes, singles exactly. players in, you know, in history of badminton. Service over that's for fantastic. seven. Well, right now, she might be one of the greatest, but Wang Ziyi has put in a good run of points here. Well earned as well. Just keeping an eye on that. 7-4. Up. Tempo's picked up a little bit. That's a nice little dig out by Wang Ji And clips the net. Five, seven. a shot by Tai Tzu Ying. Didn't work out for in the end though. It's being pushed. Over eight, five. Now, especially the backcourt by Wang Ziyi. Forced into some very difficult shots. Even if that had worked, Wang Ziyi was in the vicinity. Yeah, and I think with Wang, it's, it's an interesting one for her. She's kind of always been in the shadow of some of the other Chinese players because yeah. you know, they've got such phenomenal Absolutely. depth. And it's hard for her to kind of shine. And it was interesting to see, obviously, she had that big result with the Indonesia Masters where she was triumphant, you know. And she did kind of show everyone that she can just get over that line. So I think there's a few times where she's been so close to achieving that big success and then just fought it either in the final or kind of the... That's brilliant. Yeah. Or the last, you know, the last ditch. Um... And often she comes up against a teammate. And uh, well, that's the thing. you got so many good players from China. So 6-9. And very early on in this match, the pure quality on both sides of the net. You really can't call it from here. But saying that, Wang Ji Yi has been picking a spot. Service over. A few of the points so far. 10-6. Perfect yeah. placement. It's kind of flat smash or a punch clear, but it's played to perfection. It's such an Service awkward over. shot. Seven, ten. Gets it here on the replay. You can see how stretch Zhang is there. Sorry, Wang is there. Apologies. It really is coming down to the margins, though. Already, and that's just early on. Well, not so early on in the first game. One point away from the mid-game interval. Wang Ji looking. Good for claiming that lead. Great net. Oh, oh. Service over. 11, Such a good net shot on Tussi Ying. And then she gets that short lift, which is what she obviously she wants. And then missing that smash. Yeah. I would say. say. So 11-7 at the break. And already this match is looking like a cracker. Just a few cheap mistakes from Tussi Ying so far. Seconds, got one, 20 seconds. So back on court, second phase of game one. And Wang Ji with a well-earned four-point lead at the moment. Tai Tzu Ying guilty of 
A couple of uncharacteristic mistakes, I reckon, but she has been pushed into some tight corners on court. 11 7 play. And that's the thing you were saying, Chris. Tai Tzu Ying might not be watching the videos, but I'm pretty sure Wang Zhiyi has been watching a few. Definitely, you know, everyone's going to be kind of analysing her in depth to try and yeah. understand and have an idea what she's going to do before she does it. She is an unpredictable player, but oh, there are when, so many videos. Yeah, you know, when she's got the, she, the skill level so that she has, Tai Tzu Ying, she has so much creativity. You yeah. know, the, the yeah. shot she can play, she can play almost any shot from any position, and it's hard to know what she's going to do. That's the thing, and, and even at the World Tour Finals, the comeback. Yeah, I mean, that was... Came, that was unbelievable. In, yeah, it was really was incredible. That was one of the best comebacks in badminton history. <laughs> she went on all the way to win that World Tour Finals trophy. And to saying that alone eight. is actually uh, with the you know esteemed uh, top four around her to, to take the title at the World Tour Finals. At her age, that was really special. Just it seemed like one of those tournaments where everything just kind of fit into place yeah. for her, and it all just kind of came together and incredible to win it. Oh, Wang Ji again in the right place at the right time. It's the thing at the Wang moment, Wang, she's reading it really well. Yeah. Anticipating incredibly well what Tai Ying's doing. In a lot more consistent, a lot more solid than Tai Su Ying at the moment. Tai is removing some of the tape on her knee and hasn't replaced it. I don't see that very often, but perhaps more mobility. She's feeling a bit limited perhaps on that knee. Brilliant. And immediately steps back with a wonderful winner into the corner. Service over. Yeah, some of that tape is very, very stretchy and once you get sweaty, it's so hard for it to stay on. It's much easier than it kind of being an irritation or a frustration. You just get rid of it. Well, that's what Wang Ji has been doing well. She's been playing the front backcourt alternately, catching Tai Tzu Ying in the middle, forcing him to play some deep recoveries. That's sure. wonderful. This is the thing at the moment from Wang. She's got incredible discipline, as in she's not really giving Tai Su Ying anything. She's not giving her um, easy chances to step in or read the game or, you know, any yeah, yeah. basic mistakes. She's, she, she's doing everything as she should, as in a very disciplined performance. But now it's Tai Su Ying when she has these moments of magic like that. Shot there, phenomenal. Not even in a good position, but it's the quality of the shot and the deception as well. And then that's kind Service of over. polar opposite, if you get what I mean, to that, a simple yeah, gift. Yeah. It's kind of like, um, not Jekyll and Hyde, that's an exaggeration. Well, she's just, she's just uh, not 100% solid at the moment. But it's, There's either flashes of brilliance or not. And that's kind of what you get when you're a very creative, almost flamboyant player, you know, moments of absolute kind of magic and then just some easier mistakes because she's taking it on. So that might be why. That's a very good insight as to... Brilliant shot again. Again, that's again, just magic. It's wonderful. It's just wonderful. The trajectory of that shot. Wow. The quality of it, and it's the deception as well. She's Set not even in a great position. 11, you can see there, she's off balance. She's slightly out of position, but the shot quality, look how accurate that is. Yeah. It's so close to the net, and you can see Wang's having to really stretch to get it. Again. Again. And this Just is what I mean. It's, it's, it's that combination of that. With the last two rallies, phenomenal. I mean, yeah. no one's... Well, yes, maybe someone can get it back, but you, you're in such a bad position, a few more shots, and Tai Ying's probably going to take the point. But then we've also been kind of, you could say, mismatched with the gifts that Tai Ying's given. Her opponent, Wang, of five, six easier mistakes. But it's hard to get rid of those mistakes when you're as creative as Tai Ying is. Absolutely, yeah. So Wang Ji still hanging on to a lead, but it just seems a little bit more tenuous now. Seven That's a good over. move. And this is the thing, it's unlikely that you're going to see Wang winning well. an easy point. And by that I mean, you know, getting up and just hitting a very flamboyant, no. phenomenal shot. But the discipline she's going to she play has. out the rally. Yeah, she's yeah. working the rally yeah. really well. And you can see there, Tai Su Ying, she's at full stretch, you know, and that's how she wins the point. But this is what I mean about the discipline of Wang. It's very, very high. 
You know, she's not giving her opponent any chances, any easy points. The points Tai Suyun's winning, she's having to really work hard to win with either a phenomenal shot or work in the rally. Brilliant oh, again. Great. Tai just shifting it left and right, and in the end, right on the line. Two points back. Service over. 13, 15. This is the thing, this is a lot more deceptive than it is because she's putting a bit of slice on it, so it's very hard to see where she's striking, and that's why she totally wrong foots Wang there. Well, she looks like she's settling down now. Those early errors seem to have vanished, but that's it. I mean, that's, I think, of the last four points that Tai Tsing's won, 14, she's been 15. clearly aiming. Okay for that mid-court line. Bye. This is the thing, that the variation that she has, you know, it's so yeah. hard for Wang to be able to predict or know where it's going. And even if she does all the video analysis in the world, it's not gonna help you. Yeah. Thing, because of the variation she has, you know, Tyson Ying has so much ability and skill, she can almost hit any shot from anywhere. And the last, you know, three, four points have just been moments of brilliance from Tai Ying. Yeah, she's just been picking a spot. So 14, 15, a chance to tie it up here. That's gone long, very long. Wang Ji with absolutely no option but to try and lift it to the back. It's again that the net's just so tight, the quality of the shot. Well, just for a second, it looked like Wang Ji really had the number on Tai Tzu Ying, but now he's doing to Wang what she's done to and again, like, <laughs> look at that double <laughs> action magic you know you, no one knows where it's going except obviously Tai Su Ying she holds it, it it feels like for eternity there holds and hit tricks your eye yep. it doesn't it doesn't look like it obeys the laws of physics and the thing is on a slow-mo obviously it, it doesn't look deceptive because yeah. they're really slowing yeah. it down but you know in, in real time it's such a difficult shot because she you know she times it to perfection well it's been solely winning points of the net now and that front court area. She's literally been out shooting Wang Ji Yi. That is yeah. in. And this is the thing now, Tai Su Ying's kind of in, I don't know what you want to call it, turbo mode or whatever. You know, she's Seven. just playing unbelievable. Yeah. There's quite a few mistakes up to 11 where maybe she was settling into the match or... Well, she was also getting pushed back and forth by Wang Ji Yi, so she was getting pushed into difficult positions to make these incredible shots but now she's making the incredible shots as you said now the entire court is open she's in full control at the moment of the match it's just it's so hard for wang to be able to turn it around because she's kind of chasing the whole time just because of the shot quality i mean look that's at that another one I mean, just picking a spot and that's wang has been rooted cemented in that 15 18. point and Again. the game just seems to be flying past her. That is an incredibly complex shot. It looks easy because it's Tai Su Ying, but you catch that slightly wrong and it you know, goes out, goes short, yeah. puts you in trouble. And, and she's, it's almost a masterclass for probably the last eight, nine rallies. And I just want to remind people, she's playing the number nine in the world here. She's playing, oh, oh. my goodness. <laughs> Strokes the top of the net. Uh, that one has gone long, but as you said, last eight, nine rallies, you can kind of e expect that one that of them had to go wrong. 16, 18. Well, we did say it might be a final year of competition, and what a sad sign it will be to see her go at the end of the year, but, I mean, she's still performing right to the end. Some of her best badminton. Again, it was that yeah. forehand deceptive hold cross court, and the problem is for for Wang, Set you can't read over. it because it's yeah. not that like she keeps playing the same shot. 19, that that 16. is lovely, and you can see how late Wang is because she doesn't know where it's going yeah. because you can't because from that position, you know, uh, Tai Su Yin can play straight. She can go over into a corner cross, or left, she or do, right. Exactly, yeah, she yeah. can do anything she wants. So it's so hard for the player, obviously in this case Wang, to have an idea where it's going. Well. She might not watch the videos of her opponents. I wonder if when she retires, she'll watch her own videos because they're going to be up there for many, many years. That's gone wide, and she's really rattled Wang Ji here, who's only scored one point <laughs> in the last. I mean, basically, she was 16. held on 15 points for so long. 
up to 16 because of that one error at the back from Tai Tzu Ying, but now it's game points, four of them. I mean, it was 15-12. That's right, yeah. And this Service is a big, over. big momentum shift. And in Wang's defense, she hasn't done a lot wrong. It's just been, you know, cloud... Elevated. Cloud yeah. nine above from Tai Tzu Ying. You know, she's been a, like a goddess of badminton, if you want to call it that, as in she's been so, oh, so absolutely. good. I think that if there's anybody that would merit that term. Recovery's been Brilliant. good. That's nice from Wang Zhiyi. 18 20. But after what we've seen in this first game, she just cannot fancy her chances, Wang, at all. But then this is the thing, it's hard to control 19, that, that brilliance 20. for Tai Su Ying. And obviously we saw that run, a big run of points where she did, and it was, I'd almost say she was unplayable. But then the flip side of that is these extra cheaper points that sneak in. Brilliant. How do you deal with it? How do you deal with it when she is playing that Tennis well? Game won by Tai Su Ying, 21-19. Yeah, 好吧,那反正是防不住的,那我怎么样冲上去,我自己要拼出来,要搏出来,好吧,啊,所以不要跟着他的球,啊,反线子,这个挺重要的,啊,相信自己的能力,啊,加油。Got one twenty seconds, got one twenty seconds. So back on court, 21-19, and Wang Zhiyi's got to feel a little bit aggrieved at the way that second half of the first game played out. Now, of course, switching sides. Let's see if the second game, level number nine has better play. luck this time. But Team Thai, as they've come to be known in their final year, very, very happy. I can already see lots and lots of fans just in the background there. TTY forever. It's gone wide. That's something that Wang Zhiyi is going to have to really look out for. One luff. From this side of the court. Absolutely uncontested. Held the shot for a bit. Two. Sweeps it across the net. Just look at the way she holds it here. And this is the thing you can't... I mean, you can it's, teach that, but you can't. You can't. Yeah. A lot of that is high natural ability. To learn that shot, yes, you can. But to play it as perfectly as that, I mean, it's incredibly difficult. And this is the thing when you have players starting off, the young players, you know, that will yeah. almost try and emulate her. They'll be frustrated because it's not going to win again. Yeah, I mean, no, all of the points that she's won, I think the last 10 points that she's won have been uncontested. But this is the thing, she's taking the game on. Either she's winning the point or she's losing the point. It is fully in her hands. You know, in the last yeah. two rallies, just yeah. exceptional. Absolutely exceptional. And this is 
you know, kind of showcasing her finesse, her skill, her creativity. She's not like anyone else. Absolutely unique phenomenon. And it's great in badminton terms that that talent, that high level of natural ability, as you put it, um, took her all the way to the top over such an illustrious career. She certainly played the best, beat the best, and became the best. Service over, 4-1. got a challenge here but I mean I shouldn't comment because I pretty in. much got every single one I've, I've thought wrong but I mean if that's in again it's a magical shot and it is plumb on the line and this is the thing how do you get Tai Su Ying out of this kind of golden one yeah that's remaining. the thing I mean that was you couldn't Five, get more in one. than that so she is Late. Firing on absolutely all cylinders. And at the moment, to be honest with you, Wang, she doesn't know what to do. And it's kind of hard to know what to do. When, when Tai Su Ying's in this kind of form where everything's flowing, and she's going to be, you know, as we said, she's one of the most informed players in the world at the moment. She's absolutely putting everything into it in this final year as well. And this performance reminiscent of so many that we've seen in the last few months, including the World Tour Finals. Five. One last hurrah. I don't know if the, the fans maybe will petition to try and get <laughs> Tai Su Ying to carry on because, you know. Well, 29 years old, that's the thing. I mean, with her with her unique skills. She could have another five another, years. Yeah, another yeah. five years at least. But uh, I guess uh, she, she wants to, you know, take these talents Six. to a different part yeah, of life. She's you achieved know? so much, you know, and the integral thing is she's happy and... Yeah. She's made that decision, then, you know, it's the right thing for her. And as long as she moves on to whatever she wants to move on, it's just sad for badminton because she really yeah. is such a talent. Absolutely talismanic, has set the bar so high for not just young players, but even her peers as well. And is putting on a show here in France. Oh, it's like, you know, it's, yeah, it is. <laughs> it's unbelievable. It's, it's just magic after magic. She's, you know, Harry Potter out there. You know, it's just, Seven, it's so, it, it, look at that. I mean, she makes that look easy. That's not easy. Yeah. And yeah. she's she's not doing that against the player ranked 50 in the world. She's doing it against the player who's in form, yeah. eight matches unbeaten, ranked nine in the world. She essentially head faked that uh, right till the last minute. Yeah. Incredible deception. And then just tapped it over. And of course, Wang Ji rooted to another part of the court. So 7 2. And again. And this is the thing now. I mean, is she, is she trying to practice these shots before a possible quarterfinal with Anne So Young? Possible. I mean, <laughs> I mean, but there, right shot to choose. I mean, she's doing everything to perfection yeah. there. Exactly yeah, the right yeah, shot yeah. to a high quality. And, you know, if, if you're Wang, you're just. I, I'm just, I I'm, I'm shocked at the fact that it's every single point. But I it, mean, I'd expect but this three is or it. four to come out of maybe five or six attempts. But to consistently choose the correct shot, which are complicated Nine, shots, two. and play them to the perfection that Tai Su Ying is, this is why she is, you know, playing it. Yeah, and as you can see, it's it's disheartening. But it is, because you don't know what's going to happen, and you kind of... You, you said it before, I mean, that Wang Ji has been on an eight-game winning run. She hasn't dropped a game so far this week in France and is being made to look like uh, like she's not there. <laughs> it's, it's hard because when your opponent's playing to this level and you don't know what they're going to do and you're on the back foot, you're chasing, you've got a deficit, you've lost the first game and you're 10-2 you know, down in the second. This was a full 360 turn. Oh, we didn't get it. It was the one before, but... Her spatial awareness, even after that, many other players would probably messed up the next shot. But as we move towards the second mid-game interval, it Service has been 
three. Absolutely seven. brilliant from Tai Tzu Ying. Now, I did say, of course, that um, it's An Se Yong, possibly, but it's actually Tun Jung or a Hori that is going to be the possible quarterfinal opponent for either of these two ladies. I'm going to keep that word either in there, even though this has been one-sided traffic Again. and still is. Absolutely so wrong foot, sir. 11-3 at the interval. Unstoppable at the moment. Yeah, well, back on court, and what's she going to do next? At this rate, pull a rabbit out of the hat. It's going to say, uh, I don't know. I don't know how it can get much better. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been absolutely clinical. You said it before. It's great shot selection, great court coverage, calm, mental state. Absolutely not flustered in any way. And remember, and it seems so long ago now, that Wang Ji was quite in control that first game. It's landed plumb on the line. I mean, you wouldn't expect anything else. Wow. This is the Three. thing. I remember doing a game uh, where one-on-ones in mixed doubles, Zeng Siwe and Hong Yao Chong were playing Sio and Che from Korea. Yeah. And you know, I said it was almost like a superhuman performance because they didn't put a foot wrong, the world number ones. But I would say Tai Su Ying, this is of that caliber yeah, because yeah. it is to play the Three. right shot Three. almost every single shot with good quality is so much more complicated than people realize because when you're stretched in trouble out of position to play exactly the right shot is it's difficult to do because shot selection is, is it's the most important thing. But it's, it, it's difficult to continuously do that, but also to the quality that Tai Su Ying yeah. has done. Like, look at that. I mean... Yeah, again, you're right. Now, obviously, yes, it helps when you're 14-3 up because you're very relaxed and you've won the first game, so you're very, very calm. But she's well, done it, you, you know, know halfway through the first game all the way through to now. Her vision of badminton now at this late stage and this final stage, really, Oh, she's that's missed just it. missed that that's that's the only one really that's but what thing. an idea yeah, and she was so early on it she had full that control of the rally she was almost too early it was almost 40. too easy for her 512 wins 183 losses that's her career <laughs> i mean that's the, that's the experience pool that she can pull from and of those i mean she's played everyone so her vision of the court her vision of the game, the dream of how she's going to win, it's just all so clear now. Again and on, there. on days like this where you've got negligible conditions, slight drifts everywhere, um, it's literally sparring for her. It's this shot here, she pulls her in, she holds it, and she allows yeah. her opponent 15, to take that step forward. Four. And then as soon as she does, she holds it, goes over cross. Also look at her body position. Her body position was basically indicating a completely different direction. And she pulls it the other way. 15-4 against the world number nine. Wang Ji trying desperately, and that's gone wide as well. Where do you go? Isn't what it? shot do you turn to? In fact, here's a question for you, Chris. Wang Ji, there they are, the coaches. What do you do? Oh, this is the thing. I mean, there's, there's not much you can say or do, and I know it sounds ridiculous because in 99% of occasions you can, but in this one, it's it's very hard because it's all Tai Su Ying controlling everything, yeah. and it's up. To, I mean, look at that. It's just. Well, that she's trying it again. I think. That's closer, but I think it's out. Yes, it's, it's another point for Wang Ziyi. But I think it's just uh, irking her that she missed that one before. Look at that. Yeah, it would have been. From that angle, look at that. 
It's almost like at the moment, Tyson Ying's trying to outdo herself in each yeah, rally because yeah, that's she the most to, complicated she, shot in that situation. I, I said, try. I'm going to stick with this theory that she's testing out these shots for the business end of the tournament that she knows she's going to get to. Uh, and that's not Brilliant against. Lift. Yeah, it's not against a, a very low ranked opponent. She just knew. And I think this might be the last time she gets to really open up all these shots, try them out. Oh, oh Tyson Ying is just, <laughs> it's just a masterclass. Just I mean, shake your head. It's you just, just shake your head. It was even in that rally where Wang, she played a phenomenal Service net, over. so tight. Tyson Ying put it on the back line. And then that cross block to absolute perfection. Yeah. You can see Wang. That's, that's, that's what I meant. I, I said earlier, the highlight real shots. I didn't expect to see this many. From I mean, this could, match, but the thing, you could probably pick 20 rallies, which is an unbelievable thing to say. But 20 rallies in this match of insane badminton from Tai Su Ying. Oh, again, just stretching Wang Ji. Half she's got one eye on where Wang is, brilliant, and shot. the other eye. Well, that's brilliant from Wang Ji. The other eye is just thinking, Well, how can I make that shot to where Wang isn't? Service over. And that Six, connection 17. between mind and arm. And this is the thing, it's one of the only rallies that I would say Wang's won in this second game. The other points that she's scored have been from maybe Tai Su Ying just forcing yeah. it, just making I, a mistake. I, do. I, I really do feel for Wang Ji. I mean, mentally, that is quite the, um, the thumping that she's got Seven, since that early on. Remember, it was 15-12, uh, wasn't it? Yeah, in, in the, the first game. In the first game. And that was the last time that Wang Ji really thought that she had a, even a modicum of control on this match. Since then, it's been the Thai show. It's almost been the, the Thai to Ying director's cut. Well, Wang Ji holding her own here. That's gone wide. So, beginning to find a couple of uh, cracks of daylight, but. Just look at that score line, and you realize it's 36 minutes on court that it is more than an uphill struggle for Wang Shi Yi at the moment. She's going to need something super special. To be honest, she's going to have to play like Tai Tzu Ying's been playing. She wants to get anything from this match. Can't afford to make mistakes like that. 18-8. What a performance. Wow. You know what? And the funny thing is, you can actually see her fans just standing behind her type scene. Usually they're in great voice, but I think even they're in shock of the fact that she's come out and done this. Been very quiet at the Adidas Arena. There you can see them at the top of your screen. TTY forever. Ah, willing to play the lift clears. And play the backcourt clears as well. And then went for the drop shot. This time, more of averages. Service over, it's a, 9, 19. I think it's safe to say she has a buffer. Two points needed. For a third quarterfinal appearance in 2024. And bear in mind, the other two went to a runner-up finish and a win. It's gone long, so she gets her match point, and over. not just that, 20, 11 of them. Match point, nine. So, Chris, 11 match points. How many do you reckon she's going to need? Nice. It's up to Tosi. <laughs> <laughs> it's up to what, her. what magic she, she sprinkles on the rally. You basically pick and choose. I'm saying it's going to be, Service well, over. I was going to say one, but no, definitely 20. one save by mistake. Well, the way she's been scoring, it's, it's not going to be more than three, I think. And in the end, it is yeah. one beautiful, steep kill straight to the body of Wang Ji Yi. 
Well, masterclass is the only way you can describe that. 21-19, 21-10. And all the other ladies in the women's singles division, be warned. Because the machine that Tai Tsui Ying is, 21, 19, is 21, back in business 10. in 2024. Final point. This one was more about power and placement than anything else. Straight to the body, just above the hip. And it's enough. There's confirmation of it. 39 minutes, 21-19, 21-10, and it's been exceptional from Tai Tzu Ying.